What's going on guys? Today on the Actual VR Show, we're talking Game of Thrones, we're talking Magic Leap, and we're getting super meta with some TED Talks. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? It's uh, episode three. We are on the third episode of the actual VR show with a new format. Uh, we've, got, we've got desks, we've got computers, we got a camera, we got a crew. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> but we're bringing it back. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna take them, we're gonna chop them up, we're gonna throw them in front. The first thing we're gonna talk about is Game of Thrones. Why would we talk about Game of Thrones? You know why we're talking about Game of Thrones. Uh, I don't, I, I've, never, I've never seen an episode. I watched half, half of the first episode. I know, I know, uh, it's, it's absolutely, it, it's terrible. But I've not stopped hearing about this new episode that came out and apparently it was the greatest moment in TV history. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about uh, Magic Leap use this opportunity, uh, strategically of course, to release their new Magic Leap experience. They, well, they to announce it. So essentially they're gonna have this Game of Thrones experience on the Magic Leap, which is pretty cool. I had a chance to, to try the Magic Leap uh, back when they were first releasing it to developers. It was um, it was cool. It was really promising. It wasn't my thing. You know, I'm still a, a virtual reality guy, although I've seen the the, the the potential for mixed reality. I think Magic Leap is doing something here. I think I think they're in a little bit of a panic. I know, I know, super controversial. We. <laughs> So here, here's what I think is happening. Apple is kind of hinting at a new mixed reality headset, an AR headset. And I think if Apple enters the game, I, I think we're gonna have a bigger adoption rate when it comes to mixed reality. I, I do think that if they release if they release it right time and it's a good product, I mean, Apple has the brand. They, they have the audience already. It's gonna be a much easier transition. But I, what I think is happening is you have HoloLens 2 coming out. Microsoft is releasing the HoloLens 2 uh, very soon. And then, you know, the promise of the Apple headset. I think Magic Leap is, is just kind of throwing whatever punches they have left. So they were the first to market and they realized that that window is really, really tightening up. Magic Leap is giving away 500 headsets. 500 of them. These things are like $2,300 if you want to buy one. And they have an exclusive partnership with AT&T to be able to sell these on the website. So I think what they're doing is they're doing this big push to get it into developers' hands. But what I want to talk about next is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go out of the, the, the mixed reality world. We're going, to, we're going to talk a little bit about augmented reality and specifically 360 video virtual reality. Tiffany Lamb gave a TEDx talk and what she did is she talked about essentially the benefits of what her company does, uh, which is a patio. So her company, Patio Interactive, and what they do. And I think what Tiffany has found out is that virtual reality is the most powerful tool to communicate an idea that exists today. So Tiffany says this in her, in her, in her talk. She says that virtual reality, 360 video, fills the gap between real life, what actually happens, and where photos and videos leave off. And I thought that was really profound. I thought that was a great way of explaining something that we have fully believed in. Uh, Tiffany, you did that talk was absolutely amazing. You could tell it was really well thought out. And I, uh, if you get a chance, watch it. It's not very long, but if you wanna know kind of the thesis and you wanna know why I do what I do. We do what we do. She does an excellent job. The information age gave us practical tools and access to data. But today's tech-enabled generation is starting to favor content consumption based on how we experience it. Futurists have long theorized about a coming age where creativity and imagination become the primary creators of economic value. This is known as the imagination age. And to me, I'd say it's very much here now. All right, guys. So finally, we're gonna end, we're gonna end on the 360 video of the day. The 360 video of the day is "Send Me Home." So I found this piece on Within's website. If you if you are looking for premier 360 video content, if you kind of want to look at 
the what's really being done and what's really promising some of the more talented and innovative filmmakers using the medium, check out within.com. They have some great content on there. So Send Me Home is the story of Ricky Jackson who served 39 years of wrongful imprisonment. And with this experience, you, you get to really feel what the meaning of freedom is through his eyes. So you're able to follow him when you put this headset on, you, you, you get to see, which I, thought, which I thought was really cool to one, be able to see what the cell looked like. You get an idea of what he looked at every single day. But you realize as you're in there, what really drives that story and what I fully believe in any content you create, it's no matter the medium, the primary goal is to tell a story. And I think that's what, when it comes to creating quality content, story is first. You have to have that great story. It doesn't matter where you are, how cool it is. I can drop you in the middle of the rainforest. There's tons of animals everywhere. And it's cool to a point. But in order for me, as a storyteller, to hold your attention and to be able to utilize the medium and take full advantage of virtual reality and the attention you're giving me, I have to tell a compelling story. And I feel like that's what Send Me Home did. Guys, so that's it. That's the show for today. Guys, if you're watching on Facebook, jump on over to our YouTube, hit that subscribe button. It'd mean a lot. If you're watching on YouTube, what are you doing? If I, have I brought you no value? Are you, are you sh like, what? Give me some love, man. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> yeah. And guys, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, drop them down in the comments below. Let me know. Do you have questions about anything we talked about today? Do you want a question featured on the show next week? Drop them down there. Let me know. And as always, guys, thank you so much. I know you've got a lot of things going on in your life. You've got two kids. I know what that's like. Thank you for taking your time to watch me rant a little bit about virtual reality in the state of the union. I'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you so much. See ya. Stick, stick, uh, stay tuned, stick, you know, follow me on stuff. Watch the video coming up. Uh, we're uh, we're gonna be doing uh, okay. Talk to you later. <laughs>